Now, just looking through my notes, there's an awful lot of words that we need to look at, beginning with C. Hello, I'm Peter. Thank you for joining me on today's edition of Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice. Yeah, we're going through our A to Z of words, which may help you to know if you are in the voiceover business, if you're producing or presenting a radio program, or maybe it's a podcast. Yeah, these are words, they're technical words, they're studio terms, they're almost biological terms as well about the human body, all sorts of words and terms be useful for you to know and uh yeah it's quite a few beginning with c as i said so let's get cracking uh today choppy character voice character bleeds and cadence so cadence today is the rhythmic flow of a sequence of sounds or words so it's a similar to inflection as well but it's the it's the rhythm it's the flow so a choppy delivery Let's come to that. It's slightly out of alphabetical order, but it's also something we're going to be talking about today. Uh, But it it works out that actually it's appropriate to talk about them together. It's a way of talking in which the flow of delivery is broken up by frequent and unnecessary pauses. That is a very choppy delivery. And sometimes you might hear people doing that. Now, sometimes a choppy delivery is actually quite useful if you're doing a list. Now, there's an advert running on uh, commercial radio in the UK at the moment, which has several lists. I think it's about buying and selling gold. You know, if you've got some spare jewellery, you can... uh, post it off to a company and they'll work out how much it, it, that they'll give you for it and, 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 and you, know, you can sell it by post essentially. That's what it is. And they've got several lists and in that even though the delivery is quite choppy actually it works quite well. It certainly draws you in because they're talking about something like gold and silver and zirconium and if you have jewellery which has been given to you you've bought it or you inherited it yeah, then you may be able to get money which may help you pay your mortgage, car loan, holiday, those kinds of things. So lists, by sheer definition, are often a little bit choppy. But as I say, very often people have a choppy delivery because they don't know what they're talking about. Um, let's, 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 let's be honest, it's called a spade a spade. As I've said many times, the secret to sounding conversational is knowing what it is that you're talking about. The secret to knowing what you're talking about is sitting down and understanding, reading it, asking people, having a bit of background knowledge, having a bit of common sense. Yeah, You're only going to sound as though you know what you're talking about if you know what you are talking about. And very often, a choppy delivery can come because you don't know what you're talking about, it's been badly written in the first place, or you or your producer doesn't know either. And that is where you bring in somebody like me to say, Peter, this is sounding odd, don't know why, how can you help me? As I say, it may be in the script, it may be in your delivery, or it may be a combination of the two, and somebody else can't actually identify that. So a choppy delivery is, let me say again, a way of talking in which the flow of delivery is broken up by frequent and unnecessary pauses. And those pauses may be a breath in the wrong place because you're not identifying what the phrases are within a sentence that helps explain what that sentence means. If you want more help on that, we've got loads more. We talked about inflection for several episodes way back when, or drop me a line and uh, I'll, 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 I'll help you. I'll help you out. <whistles> Tweeter Stewart, T W W E T E R S T E W A R T. Let's also talk about character bleed and character voice. It almost makes sense to do these the opposite way round as well. So, character voice, the voice adopted to help portray an individual in the script. Yeah, the voice of the character could be a cartoon character, maybe in in an audio book. Uh, that you're doing may be, and this is slightly beyond our brief, but let's b- briefly mention it in audio drama as well. The character uh, voice, the voice of the character who you are talking uh, as as you know in character of that particular person. I said before, and we did several episodes on audio books, didn't we? So go back through the archives and have a look for them in the uh, in, in the subject, in the titles. You'll be able to find them quite easily, I believe. And when you're looking at audiobooks, you don't necessarily want to get really deep into each of your characters because otherwise it begins to sound like a pastiche. 
in my humble opinion. You want to hint at those different characters, at those different voices, but you don't want to be going deep into those different characters throughout the book because it's not an audio drama. With an audio drama, you may be, or, or video games or something like that, you may be doing two or three different characters. In a book, you could be doing 23, 33, 43 different characters. It's going to be really difficult for you to remember the 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 minutiae of the detail of all of those different characters. You just need to hint at them, as I say, more in our episodes on audio books from a few months ago. So that's the character voice. So what is a character bleed? Well, a character bleed is when the vocal attributes of one character voice, or sometimes you as narrator, continue into the voice of another character or piece of narration. Yeah, You've got character A having a conversation with character B and you're so deep into the characters and the character voices that actually you can't help, you can't differentiate in that split second between what voice I do for character A and what voice I do for character B. And you've got a bit of bleed through, you've got a bit of influence from one character's voice to another or even, as I say, you as the narrator. Maybe you forget for a couple of words exactly what voice you are. Who am I? Am I the narrator or am I character A or B or C, D, E or F or whatever it happens to be? You've got to be really wary of that as a voiceover artist and also as a studio producer as well, that you don't let that happen. And one of the easiest ways not to let that happen is not to get too deep into your characters in the first place, particularly, as I say, if it is an audio book. Slightly different if it's gaming, slightly different if it's audio drama, as I say, because you're usually just playing two or three characters, you want to get deep into those characters, but not when you're doing 23, 33, 43 or more, when you're actually doing an audio book. I mean, if you're doing something like Harry Potter, how can you possibly get really deep into all of those different characters? It's, it's, it's virtually impossible. Just hint at those characters. OK. All right. Tomorrow we continue with the C's. We're talking about, let's have a little look down here. What have I prepared? Uh, Co-anchors cold copy and comb filtering what is that what is comb filtering how does that affect you when you're trying to get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice all will be revealed tomorrow let's get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice continues from london i'm peter stewart <laughs>